Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tie my favorite rig to use on the beach, the Pompano rig. So I'm going to show you how to tie that real quick and I'll meet you right back here. All right guys, today I'm going to show you quickly how I put together the rigs that I use when I go beach fishing. Now this is more specifically for like whiting, pompano, uh, bluefish, stuff like that. Mostly for whiting and pompano. So first I would actually usually start with um, tying a dropper loop. And I'm using this blue label fluorocarbon leader, 25 pound test. So I tie a dropper loop. And again, if you don't if you don't know how to tie these knots, I have an ebook on how to do all of this. It's a step-by-step -step guide. There we go. And then tighten it up. There we go. And that's the first loop. And now we can add as many loops as we want. This is where our hook is going to go on to. Our hook's going to go right on here. And I'm going to do another dropper loop right here. See that? That's the dropper loop knot right there. And I've got two of them on here now. And I'm going to cut the line. Put the sinker on the bottom. Just going to use a uh, improved clinch knot. And now we want this to be a swivel because we don't want line twist. So the more the, the more swivels we have, the less chance of line twisting and line tangling. Okay, so the line goes on the bottom here. That's going to be the sinker line. Hook one goes on here. Hook two goes on here, and the top we're going to have a swivel. Now I've got um, small swivel, size 12, 100 pound test, 50 pack for $11, and I think that this is going to be perfect. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to catch anything over 100 pounds, and these are pretty small as they are, so I think this is going to be good. Okay, that's the top swivel right there. So now I'm going to show you how to use these beads. So I, I think orange is a good color because sand fleas, their their um, their eggs look exactly like this. We're gonna have a piece of our skipper squid hanging off the end here, and you know the color is gonna attract them in. It's also gonna keep the squid floating just like this. So what I'm gonna do is just put it through this loop. Uh, the hook choice I like to use for the beach. If I'm catching like pompano and whiting and stuff like that, uh, I standardly use a circle hook. And the, the Eagle Claw laser sharp ones, two aught, the silver ones for some reason, I really like to use at the beach. So try these out. It's one, it's safer for the fish, and two, the fish will set itself on your rod. You don't have to set the hook, you don't have to be there, it'll set itself. All right, so after the float, I'm just gonna put this right on like this. Feed it through the eye, pull it through, there we go, we got one hook ready. So here's the rig, it starts with a sw two-way swivel, 25 pound fluorocarbon into a dropper loop. In that dropper loop, we have a two-aught circle hook and a orange floaty. And then below this dropper loop, we've got another dropper loop with an orange floaty and a a yellow bead right here and another two aught and then more line and then we've got this and this will go on to our Sputnik sinker so the point of this is it gets stuck into the sand and it gets really wedged in there but if you you know set the hook it'll undo this end setting it free from the sand so it's a pretty it's a pretty nice uh, sinker these are about four dollars each we have a lot of tutorials on how to do these kind of rigs online. We've got ebooks on how to tie this exact rig, uh, the things that you need, and uh, the places that you use it. Anyways, check it out. All right, let's get to fishing. All right, we're ready. 
by sand spike action, Aaron. Thank you. Look at this, look at this sun protection. Look, looking in the mirror. Aww. When I look in the mirror, I'm a girl. We're like matching. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. You've got, keep walking, you can just keep walking. I'll talk about you, okay? Let's see here, we've got two rods, water, tape measure, stool, all your tackle, sand spike, I have the other one, and then all the reels in there and bait. And where are we going? We're gonna Mike hike like a mile down. Micah Hile. Ooh, we're going all the way down there. The tide is looking right and the water is looking clear. We're good. I'm telling I think we're gonna catch some fish today. I think we're gonna catch some fish. I think we're gonna hit some fish today. It's so green. But That's the, actually so green. The conditions are perfect. Watch us catch nothing. Yeah, really, actually. That's probably what's gonna happen. More likely to happen. See, I'm looking at the water right now. When it starts to break, that's where a sandbar is. Where it stops breaking, that's where a trough is. And I'm looking for deep pockets within casting range. This is nice water here. Looks very good. Looks pretty fishy. Hey! Whoa, you found one? Yeah. You were just walking around, you found I that? I just saw it. Nice. Yeah. Not it's bad. Broken. It is broken, but I, I noticed it. Oh my gosh. I'm on fire! Right. Another one? I am on fire right now. You found another tooth? Yeah, just like walking around. Nice. <laughs> All right, here's the spot. I think there's a hole right there. All right, here's the rig we were tying before. The same rig. I'm gonna show you how, how we're gonna apply this on the actual beach. Sputnik goes on the bottom just like this. There we go. Bait. Where's the bait? Where's the beef? So this is the, this is the uncut squid. Mm -hmm. It's an entire mantle that comes in this bag. So we're gonna cut this into strips, cut it off like that. Just little strips. It's gonna hook it through one time. One time, just like that. And then we're gonna put whatever other bait you wanna put on there, or you know, this is this is good on its own. Pompano light color. So I dip just the tip, just like that. Ooh, just like look that. at that. Yeah. Dip the tip. Dip the tip. Dip the tip. Dip the tip. Ooh. There we go. And that should be ready. The tip is dipped. Ready it's to time go. to whip. Now it's time to whip. Yes! Woo! All right, Brendan! Oh no, big blue! Whoa, it's a bluefish. Yeah. That's a nice size one yeah, too. Yeah, nice size bluefish. All right, not bad. Let's try it again. Yeah, did it fight strong? Yeah, not, I thought it was a pompano. I thought it would be, I would have rather it been a pompano. Obviously. 
Those are so tasty. Right. Oh, I got it. It's on here. It's on there. It's a pompano. pompano. Yes. 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 Fit on my squid. Again, with the dyed tip. All right, let's take a measure. So you see these, these brightly colored beads? They're attracted to these brightly colored beads. And this, this squid is so tough, it's hard for it to pull it off. And it's attracted to this color as well. They're so strong. 13. This is one of my favorite rigs. It works for a lot of different kinds of fish. Um, I like to use it for pompano because of the beads itself. But don't if you don't want to use the beads, it works for any other kind of fish pretty much. Oh yeah. It's pretty much a high-low rig or a double dropper loop rig um, with beads. Right. And these beads attract fish to come and, and attack it. Yeah, I'm really happy we got a pompano. We're gonna eat that. Oh for yeah, dinner. that's gonna be yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.